Hello everyone, it's me again, Faith. And in this video, I am going to be discussing Ikimamlilo. Ikimamlilo is a perennial plant or a perennial herb that grows to about half a meter in height. It is scientifically known as Pentanasia pruneloides. So this name comes from the fact that when you look at this plant, it has five unequal flower petals. Actually, the petals are correctly called calyx lobes. So Pentanasia is Greek for five unequal calyx lobes. And Pruneloide is Latin for purple, which is the color of the plant's flowers. The Zulu name Ikamamlilo means that which puts out the fire. I assume that this name comes from the fact that Ikamamlilo is used to treat heartburn as well as skin burns. But this is just an assumption. I don't know if this is the reason why this plant is called Ikamamlilo. So this plant is indigenous to southern Africa, to Tanzania, which is East Africa, and Zambia, which is central. This plant has fleshy, tuberous roots, and when you damage the roots, the plant begins to rot. So uprooting or removing the plant's entirety from like the roots in the wild is considered illegal, but the plant itself is not on the red list of endangered plants, so it's not at risk of going extinct. So I'm not sure why it's illegal to uproot it. Itzamamlilo is basically what my grandfather would call easy for zonke, because it can cure just about any type of ailment. The plant has antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antimicrobacterial properties. The plant's roots and leaves are the main parts that are used when making traditional medicines. And the roots and leaves can be administered either orally or as anima. So orally, this can be maupuza, lomuti, or maukapangao. And as anima is when upeitangao. This plant can be used to treat a wide range of ailments. And these ailments include heartburn, fever, bodily pains, heart problems, venereal diseases or STDs, gastrointestinal problems, kidney problems, diabetes, skin infections, toothache, hemorrhoids, vomiting, and skin burns. This plant's roots are used as a poison antidote. So after a person is bitten by a snake, they can take the plant's roots as an antidote to the snake bite. In the Zulu culture, women use this plant when making islambezo, which is a herbal concoction used by women from the second trimester of their pregnancy until they give birth. Istitlambezo is said to help women have a smooth delivery as well as helping them deliver a healthy baby. Swati people ground the roots of this plant to powder and the powder is then directly applied to the wound or a sore. Swati people also use Itamamlilo to treat is crofula, which is a type of tuberculosis or TB. The roots are used in preventative medicine against influenza. 
Hosa people in Transkei use the roots to treat sores and swollen joints. And which doctors use this plant to protect against witchcraft? So this plant is similar to Umkanyagude in that it can be used as a good luck charm when looking for a job or marriage or something similar. So when it comes to preparing this plant, there are various ways of preparing this type of plant depending on what you are trying to treat. So you can boil the roots of Itamamlilo along with the roots of Ubuvimba or winter cherry and then Upeidingao. So this mixture helps treat bacterial infections in the rectum. Morning King Isisu or you have stomach pains, you can boil the roots of Ikamam Lilo and then Besupeta Ngao Lamans Lanka Obilise Ngao. So that's it for this video. If you have anything to add about Ikamam Lilo, you can do that in the commenting section. Thank you for listening and bye.